The scariest facts we learned in 2021 that kept us screaming all year. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more scary content. Trapped in a Tomb In 1885, the New York Times reported that a man had accidentally been entombed alive after being sick for several weeks. Friends and family believed he had finally succumbed to his illness, although they did comment on the unusually limber state, lack of rigor mortis, of his body upon interment. Eventually, the man was exhumed so he could be transferred to a family graveyard. When they opened his wooden coffin, they discovered scratches clearly made by fingernails on the inside. The body had also turned around, and much of its hair was pulled out, all pointing towards his panicked attempts to escape upon awaking in his tomb. He caught the worm's cancer. In 2015, a Colombian man became infected with a tapeworm that continued to grow uninhibited inside him. When he finally saw a doctor, they discovered that the worm itself had developed cancer, which then metastasized inside the man, resulting in tumors in his lung and lymph nodes made not of human cells, but of clumps of tapeworm cells. Essentially, the tapeworm caused him to grow tumors of a different species inside him. They grow inside. The larvae of the parasitic botfly grow under the skin of animals while feeding from their flesh. Once mature, they burst out from the skin of their host. According to National Geographic, it can take weeks or even months for the wriggling parasites to finish growing and leave the body. Oh, and they can infect humans, too. The Volentich Disappearance On October 21, 1978, a pilot named Frederick Valentich was flying a Cessna 182 liters light aircraft from Moreb in Australia, to Kings Island. At 7.06 p.m., he radioed Melbourne Flight Service to report an unidentified aircraft flying roughly 1,000 feet above him. He reported four landing lights visible above him that was moving erratically. His last words were, It isn't an aircraft, interrupted by a strange metallic sound. The lentage was never seen again. Would you eat this? Kasumartsu is a cheese that contains live maggots that can possibly survive stomach acid in the intestine, leading to pseudomyiasis, where the maggot grows and feeds on the stomach's live tissue. Diners have to hold their hands above the cheese when eating it to stop the maggots from jumping out. Surrounded by Serial Killers Dozens of Los Angeles women lost their lives in the 1980s and 90s in what the police call the Southside Slayer killings. Believing this was the work of one person, the Los Angeles Police Department set up a task force to hunt the culprit. What they found instead was that at least four different active serial killers were stalking the same area simultaneously. It's likely even more existed, but due to the passage of time and destruction of evidence, they may never know how many people were involved and some of those responsible may still be out there. Part of the plan Some captives of Russia's gulags of the 1900s would make escape plans which included a walking supply, because the gulags were often so far from civilization that any escape plan would have to include traveling for days or weeks across a barren landscape, this became a term for a convict included in the prison break for the sole purpose of being eaten when food was too scarce, they would, in effect, be walking meat. In at least one instance, an escapee who carried out such a plan was even caught with the human flesh of the man he escaped but still in his bag. Alone In 2005, Helios Airways Flight 522 collided with a mountainside, killing all 121 people inside. But before that, flight attendant Andreas Pedromo was seen in the cockpit by two fighter jet pilots trying to land the plane himself. He was the only person conscious on the plane, all the passengers and crew had slipped into irreversible comas because of lack of oxygen, and the radio was tuned to the airport of origin so no one could hear his mayday calls. He was alone and aware of his impending fate for as much as three hours before the plane ran out of fuel and made an impact. Lemmings want to live. 
It's commonly believed that lemmings will follow each other off of cliffs to their ends. But lemmings are not self-destructive, and the Disney documentary, titled White Wilderness, that filmed such behavior was actually showing lemmings getting forcibly thrown down a cliff because the filmmakers needed the scene but couldn't make the animals do it on their own. Real Life Body Snatchers Capra syndrome is a certain kind of brain damage that severs the connection between your visual cortex and the limbic system, the emotional center of your brain, causing delusions of being surrounded by imposters. In other words, you can see your own mother or anyone important to you, and know for a fact that she looks identical to your mother, but something will feel off, and you will be convinced she is an imposter. His Deathbed Confessions In 1993, Donna Spangler fell to her death when her husband Robert pushed her off the edge of the Grand Canyon. The police didn't have enough evidence to convict him, and Donna's passing was ruled accidental. Years later, as he was about to succumb to cancer, Robert confessed to taking not just Donna's life, but also those of his first wife, his daughter, and his son. She could have been rescued much earlier. In 1991, 11-year-old J.C. Duggard was taken by Philip Garrido and his wife while Duggard was walking to the bus stop. The couple held her captive for 18 years in their backyard while routinely harming her, and she eventually gave birth to two of Garrido's children. Not until those two children were seen out in public with Garrido was suspicion finally raised, and Dugan was rescued. Eventually, California approved a $20 million settlement to compensate her for these lapses in judgment. Egghead I am a doctor. There's this fun condition called neurocysticercosis, which is when tapeworm eggs migrate into their host's brain. The image above shows the eggs everywhere. The gray, brain-looking stuff is, well, brain. The buckshot-looking stuff is the eggs. Enjoy and sleep tight. Cooked Alive In 1890, William Kemmler became the first person to be executed via electric chair. He was electrocuted for 17 seconds before the current was shut off, only for witnesses to realize he was still breathing. The current was turned on again, this time long enough that he not only perished, but his body was charred and his head began to smoke. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your pilot sleeping. One union survey of 500 commercial pilots found that more than half of pilots have fallen asleep while manning a plane, and of the 56% who admitted sleeping, 29% said that they had woken up to find the other pilot asleep as well. Pilots have worries beyond the plane going down. Airline flight crews are federally classified as radiation workers, meaning their job is one that constantly exposes them to radiation. In fact, NASA reports that those who work on high-latitude routes are exposed to more radiation on an annual basis than nuclear plant workers. This is due to cosmic radiation, a form of ionizing radiation that comes from outer space. Despite this, the airline industry neither measures radiation exposure in its employees nor sets standards or limits regarding exposure. One more reason to take the stairs. In 2003, A Houston resident physician lost his life in a terrible elevator mishap when faulty wiring caused the doors to close as he was entering, pinning him in place. His head was then severed as the elevator began to rise, and it was stuck inside along with several horrified individuals until someone was able to free them more than an hour later. Liquor for Labor From the late 1960s to the early 80s, Before fetal alcohol syndrome was widely understood or recognized, pure alcohol was often administered as a treatment to stop preterm labor. In the late stages of pregnancy, alcohol could be given intravenously in large amounts, sometimes continuing long after the mother had passed out. Those who reacted badly to the treatment, suffering vomiting, headaches, hangovers, and general intoxication, would even be strapped down to their hospital beds to make them more manageable. Even worse, Later studies found that in addition to the harm this method caused to the fetus and mother, it also had no more effect on preventing preterm labor than a placebo. Teens' party turns for the worst. 
In 2011, Florida 17-year-old Tyler Hadley killed both of his parents and locked their bodies up in their master bedroom. Later that night, he threw a party for his friends in the very same house. At the end of the party, he confessed to his best friend. He was sentenced to life without parole in 2014 and resentenced in 2018. Secret Human Experiments From 1946 to 1948, a group of doctors from the United States Public Health Service intentionally infected some 1,300 people in Guatemala, including hundreds of prisoners, psychiatric patients, and sex workers, with various STDs, such as syphilis, gonorrhea, and chancroid. 83 people perished, but the experiments, initiated to study the effects of penicillin, were kept secret until papers describing them were found in 2005. Radiation River From 1949 to 1956, a nuclear plant in Russia, in incidents both intentional and unintentional, dumped 2.68 billion cubic feet of highly radioactive waste into the Teka River, without alerting the residents who relied on the river for drinking and cooking, bathing and agriculture. Eventually, using water from the river for these purposes was banned, and many communities along its banks evacuated. But the largest village, Muslimuvo, remains there to this day, still suffering from the radiation side effects. A doctor breaks his oath. Christopher Daniel Dunch was a Dallas neurosurgeon who gained the nickname Dr. Death after he botched a series of surgeries between 2011 and 2013. Of the 37 patients he operated on during this time, 33 remained paralyzed or left with permanent pain from nerve damage. Two even lost their lives. He was eventually sentenced to life in prison for this in 2017. The TNT in the Sea Beaufort's Dyke is a deep-sea trench off the coast of Northern Ireland that the British have used to dump more than one million tons of weapons, along with some nuclear waste. The area has already experienced sporadic explosions, and a former Royal Navy diver has expressed concern that due to the age and decaying state of the munitions, the whole area is a ticking time bomb. Mount Doom In 1936, four mountain climbers attempted to scale the north face of the Eiger, an infamous Swiss peak. The expedition ended in utter disaster, taking the lives of all four men when a single avalanche caused one to fall to his death, another to fatally smash into the mountain face, another to asphyxiate on his climbing rope, and the last to be stranded on the mountainside without enough equipment to come down. A rescue team was sent for him, but he succumbed to exposure while they were mere feet away. His last words to them were, It con nicht mehr, which translates to, I cannot go on. The Birthday Effect You are 14% more likely to die on your birthday than on any other day of the year. Though there are many theories as to why this is, the exact reasons are unknown. Forbidden Fruit Cyanide smells like almonds. Well actually, it's the other way around. Almonds smell like cyanide because there are trace amounts of the toxic chemical in them. Just enough to smell it. Snow and Cancer In The Wizard of Oz, the snow that awakens Dorothy in the poppy field is actually asbestos. Before anyone knew it caused an aggressive form of cancer, the substance was widely used as Christmas decor because of its white, fluffy appearance. This also wasn't the only film set it was used on. Mysterious Radio Waves from Russia UVV-76 is a mysterious Russian shortwave radio station that broadcasts a single tone constantly, occasionally interrupted by cryptic voice messages reading off lists of names and numbers that have not been able to be decoded. Mole rats are not your friends. Naked mole rat colonies have their own unique dialects. They use these vocalizations to weed out intruders in the nest, killing anyone they hear speaking in the wrong dialect. Risky Romance with Richard Ramirez 
1988, serial killer Richard Ramirez proposed to Doreen Liyue, a fan of his who had been writing letters to him in prison for three years. She accepted, and they married at San Quentin State Prison in 1996. She bought a gold wedding band for herself and a platinum one for Ramirez because, as he had explained to her, Satanists don't wear gold. He infamously claimed his transgressions were inspired by the devil. The Vampire of Sacramento After his capture, serial killer Richard Chase, a.k.a. the Vampire of Sacramento, since he was known to drink his target's blood, told police that he wouldn't attempt to enter would-be target's homes if the door was locked. If the door was unlocked, however, he took it as an invitation to come inside. The Happiest, Resting, Place on Earth Disney fans commonly request to have their ashes dumped inside the Haunted Mansion ride at Disneyland. In fact, it's such an issue that cast members regularly walk the track to vacuum up piles of ash and fragments of bone. Hypodermics on the Shore In the late 80s, New Jersey was hit with a syringe tide, an environmental disaster where huge amounts of medical waste, including hypodermic syringes, washed up on the state's beaches. This event is referenced in Billy Joel's song We Didn't Start the Fire with the line Hypodermics on the Shore. Raining Spiders Spider rain, you read that right, is a real and naturally occurring phenomenon. Instances of thousands of spiders showering areas like rain have been documented in Brazil, Australia, and other places. They do this through a process called ballooning, where spiderlings release strands of their silk to catch the wind like a parachute, pulling them up on the air currents. Something's fishy in New Jersey. The South American pacufish has human-like teeth. It's also quickly becoming an invasive species in New Jersey. Hide and Go Boom, featuring missing nukes. Countless nukes have simply gone missing over the course of history. Referred to as broken arrows, these weapons have been pilfered or misfired, or they have malfunctioned or simply landed in either unknown places or locations where they couldn't be retrieved. The U.S. alone has had 32 such nuclear mishaps. The Bones in Benny's Basement In 1998, conservationists doing work on Benjamin Franklin's historical London home discovered 15 cadavers hidden in the basement, covered in a secret, windowless room beneath the garden. They recovered over 1,200 bone fragments, which were the remnants of more than a dozen skeletons, six of them children. While theories as to where these cadavers came from lean less towards murder and more towards anatomy studies, back then it was incredibly difficult to obtain a body for study legally. The field of study was frowned upon by polite society, and so specimens were more likely to be recovered through grave pilfering and other less savory means. Oceanic Black Holes Oceans have their own black holes in the form of very large eddies whose purpose is to help redistribute water of different temperatures and salinity levels. These are essentially whirlpools with extremely strong currents that prevent anything from escaping them, even the water they're made up of. They can reach up to 93 miles in diameter and drift across the ocean. The Deadly Disaster of the Air Fort Latrine Fall On the morning of July 26, 1184, Henry VI, King of Germany, was holding court in the city of Erfurt when disaster struck. So many German nobles had gathered on the wooden second-story floor of the assembly building that their combined weight caused it to collapse, casting them down into the latrine cesspit below the ground floor, where many drowned in the liquid excrement as it was flushed out to the river. Multiple texts refer to this event as the Erfurt Latrine Fall. The Mystery of the Missing Sri Lankans In 2004, the Sri Lankan national handball team was visiting Germany for a sports exchange program when the entire team of 23 men, including the coach and the manager, disappeared. The mysteries compounded when the organizers reported the vanishing to the Sri Lankan government, who informed the Germans that they had no national handball team. The formation of the team, as well as the trip, was unauthorized, and a spokesperson for the sports ministry in Sri Lanka even said that handball was not a common sport in the country. 
Perhaps this explains why the team performed poorly throughout the tournament before they fled. Not leaving us so soon, are you? If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And feel free to leave a comment or email the horror girls with suggestions, your own scary experience, original fiction, disconcerting videos, or anything horror related that you would like to share. We'd also love to help promote indie or up and coming horror authors by posting a book review or your book trailer. Email us for more info.